Allez-y. Um, hello, my name is Jalate Espoir. We're not models, we are street sweepers here in Togo. We sweep the streets to make sure our environment is clean, to make sure that we're breathing in clean air. We are working on making sure that this country is clean. We're proud of the work we do. Thank you. A standing ovation for the street sweepers of Togo. The 10th edition of FIMO, Togo's international fashion festival, is shining a light on a group of people we tend to hear very little about, especially in fashion. These sweepers are on the front line of the battle to protect the environment, the theme of this year's event. 15 days on, 15 days off. We're the women street sweepers keeping our country clean, keeping Togo clean. And it's just women? Just women. So why no men? Men aren't needed to do this work, just women. But why? Women are up for this work, and the men do other things. The men do the gardening, they cut the grass. That's the sort of work they do. The festival's founder, designer Jacques Logo, cares deeply about Lomé and its residents. He has his own label and set up FIMO when he was just 25 years old. Yeah, I also need to maintain my own clothing line. It's how I keep up my business year-round. That's what takes up most of my time. Over the past decade, Jacques Logo has continually nurtured this festival. This time round, there's a real emphasis on facilitating cultural and artistic exchange, which is also great for business. For this 10th edition of the festival, we put together a really action-packed, ambitious program. With the theme being the environment and recycling, we contacted a fair number of visual artists. This exhibition was called La Troisième Vie, or The Third Life in English. It's a reference to how we've given a third life to materials that had previously existed as something else. And we're in the process of setting up a talk show with makeup artists. Because the fashion industry today, well, we can't do fashion without makeup artists. And of course, the same goes for photographers. Because obviously, after a show, you need to have beautiful photographs. They need to be shot. We invited professional photographers who have a good knowledge of fashion, so there are photographers here to coach these young photographers who want to get serious about pursuing a career in fashion photography. <laughs> For me, taking a photo is like coloring in, like giving me a blank page, and I have to color it in with my own style. Images are very important to me. Is it about telling a story? The story that I want to tell is that life is beautiful and we shouldn't change things. What you see is what you get. We need to let things be as they seem to be. Photographers are given free reign as each designer tries to express their personal understanding of recycling. Take, for example, these metal sponges. I love reusing things because I don't think that sponges are at risk of extinction anymore. Lots of people don't use them anymore, but we used to use them a lot to do the washing up. But what I'm doing is trying to clean up our wardrobes. So it's still all about recycling? Yes, it's still about recycling. I've done some bling. I've also recycled the plastic balloons we used to play with when we were children. These balloons are made from plastic and chemicals. When they're finished with, kids just leave them in the street. And I thought that I could collect them to show people that these balloons have a damaging effect on our environment and our planet. But you've made clothes out of them, and they are real clothes. 
Yes, they're real clothes. I just wanted to add that little touch of a plastic balloon to raise awareness of the issue. What is the story today? Well, okay, um, well, you know that um, when I moved into Togo, I found out that I couldn't make clothes, brand new clothes, because there's excess fast fashion dumping in Togo. But we also have a ton of clothes coming from the east. So we have heaps and heaps of saris dumped here, and we have upcycled them to make things that can be worn and loved. It was a very creative pr process, using the artisans here to create these, um, put the pieces together, join them to create an idea, taking little strips from all the clothes that we have. And so I hope that um, people will pick them up and uh, love them a little bit more. <laughs> the shows aren't yet done, and this night is far from over, especially for the day's standout stars, the street sweepers of Lomé.